Okay, I'm just going to start off on the Laplace uh, ta uh, transform tables, okay? And I'm just actually looking down at the bottom, okay, of the tables. Essentially, what I'm looking at here is what they call the convolution formula, okay? So this is the convolution of two functions, f and g. They're both functions of t, okay? And this is how you might write it there formally, okay? But essentially, not... To, that you have to actually do that much with it. It's essentially, just actually notice that it's not a function of t. It could be a function of tau or u or something else. Okay, but essentially the the Laplace transform of this convolution is, uh, which is com uh, has is comprised of two components, is the Laplace transform of one component multiplied by the Laplace transform of the other component. That's all you have to remember. Okay. So essentially, when you see something like this, and it does look scary, essentially just pick out the two parts, f of t, okay, and g of, oh, sorry, f of t and g of t, okay, even though they're not actually written like that, okay, here, like it's actually f of t minus tau, okay, anyway, that's, that. I mean, I've sort of, I think I've made my point. So, um, what we're going to do here is... Use the Laplace transforms to solve the following integral equation, okay? So we have y of t equals 1 plus t plus uh, this integral here uh, from 0 to t of t minus u times y of u du. And what you should do there is recognize that this is the convolution of two components, t, just t itself, okay? The function f of t is t, t and g of t is y t, y of t. Okay, so essentially what we're going to do here is, um, by the way, just for a couple of these, you should expect a function of y here. Okay, just makes the problem more interesting. Okay, so what we're going to do here is get the Laplace transform of both sides. So starting off with the left-hand side, the Laplace transform of y of t is simply capital Y of s. Okay, uh, let's look at these two parts here. Okay, the oh, let's set, let that settle. Okay, I just unpaused it there to fix the focus because I have an automatic focus puller here and it's a little bit jumpy. Anyway, let's get back to work. So we have L of the Laplace transform of 1 plus T. Essentially, I'm just doing one go. Uh, 1 over S plus 1 over S squared. Okay, that's all you need. And essentially simplify that as S plus 1 over S squared. Okay, and then finally, the Laplace transform of this is simply uh, uh, the Laplace transform of t times the Laplace transform of y of t, which is 1 over s squared times y of s, or y, uh, y of s over s squared. So let's piece that all together, okay? So that's let the, the full Laplace transform of everything on the other side, okay? Or on both sides, that's the left-hand side, right-hand side. That's 1 plus t, that's the convolution term there, okay? Now all we have to do is get an expression in terms of y of s and get the inverse Laplace transform of that. Okay, so that's that page done. Let's go to the next page. So, um, what I'm going to do is, first off actually I just jumped around a bit here. Okay, so actually I'll just go back to the last page. Okay, just put that back down. What I'm going to do is multiply that term there by above and below by s squared. So it's s squared times y of s over s squared. Okay. And I'm going to subtract this term here. I'm going to subtract this term from both sides. So I'll have s squared minus 1. Okay. Just in case you're wondering. So that's what happens there. Essentially, I just rearrange it uh, arithmetically. Okay. And now, so the s squareds cancel out, okay? So I'm left with y of s equals s plus 1 over s squared minus 1, okay? And s plus 1 over s squared minus 1. If you actually notice, this is the difference of two squares, s plus 1, s minus 1. And the that cancels out, essentially. So you're left with this, 1 over s uh, 1 over s minus 1. That is actually a fairly straightforward inverse Laplace transform. Okay, that's actually straight out of the tables. Let a equal to 1. Okay, 
I'll actually, it's actually, I'll just bring up the Laplace transforms there. It's a little bit hard to read, but if you actually just get my PDF copy, you'll see that A is equal to 1, and therefore the inverse Laplace transform is E of T. Very easy. Okay, that's grand. We'll leave that there.